What is going on, YouTube? Uh, it's Pink Bevador. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Damn, my voice sound deep as fuck. <laughs> my voice sound. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, anyways, <laughs> my bad. I just, you know, I woke up like you know, thirty minutes ago. So, anyway, so <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about <laughs> why I would never go back to being a company driver after getting a small taste of what it's like to be an independent contractor so <laughs> you guys when i was a company driver and before i even get started let me say this is not throwing shit towards anybody that's a company driver some people just it, it's not for everybody you know what i mean the, it, some it some people don't want to have the headache of having to worry about if the truck breaks down you know i gotta pay for it a lot of people don't want to have to worry about putting fuel and stuff like that. And I get that. I was the same way. I was like, you know, no, I'm I'm making decent money, like, you know, roughly $1,000 a week, right? So I was like, I'm cool. You know, I don't need nobody to, to, to be. <laughs> I don't need nobody to tell me how good the money is being on operate i already know the money's good but nigga it ain't worth my motherfucker it ain't worth the stress okay and then um anyways i finally just gave it a shot i was like you know what let me go get a quality truck let me give this shit a shot shit a shot shit a, okay that, that sounds kind of funny anyway let me give this shit a shot oh, okay let me stop saying it but i was like okay so i did it and i was like okay it ain't so bad when i had my quality truck the only thing that happened to my truck is I had to get a new tire. And it didn't even blow out on me. I actually did a pre-trip and noticed that the tread was, you know, kind of low. So, anyways, uh, it didn't even get a chance to blow out, blow out on me. I actually just went and got it fixed before it, before it happened. And... What else? And I just had some minor work done for the, uh, for the, to like batteries. I think they just got the corrosion off or some shit like that. Like I forgot, whatever. But it was just like some minor shit that happened. So I was like, okay, that didn't cost too much money. You know, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> and so, um, when I went and got the truck that I'm in now, you know, my little yellow kid dime, you know, look at the little yellow right there. Like, hey, boo. Uh, hey boo so anyways when i went and got this truck the only thing that i've had to do to it so far was i had to get the when i first got the truck they had the idle like what's it called like an idle cut off time or something like that on there they had that shit on there and then they had the truck was governed at like 64 i said oh no <laughs> you know i don't drive my truck no faster than like 64 65 anyway but that's not the point i need my shit to be wide open okay for when them truckers be talking shit like oh they're gonna blow my doors off I'm like oh bitch why well, i'm gonna blow your doors off okay that's what's gonna happen you're not gonna blow my doors off okay anyways but also because sometimes i be just wanting to get around all of the traffic and stuff like especially if it's raining you know when it's raining people like to huddle together because they scared and shit like that but i'm like bitch get up i'm getting away from y'all y'all dangerous okay so you know that's the reason why i, I don't want to govern on my truck but anyways so i completely went all around the field left corner down the street back up the street like i completely just <laughs> so fast forward <laughs> but anyway so one of the biggest things that i love about being a uh, independent contractor is the fact that nobody can tell me what to do when i tell you that means the fucking world to me because anybody who knows me knows that i don't like to be told what to do and i know that when you when you have a job you have an employer you know you can't just go around doing what the hell you want to do but and that's the thing i don't like to be told what to do but yet i gotta be told what to do because th like this is my fucking job you know but as an independent contractor however <laughs> you don't ain't nobody telling you what to do you know what i mean and i i like this shit because as a company driver if you don't want to load because this is it's the fucking dead of winter and they send you to fucking wyoming and you like no i don't want to go i don't feel safe and they tell you they preach safety all day long but honey when they need that shit moved guess, guess what they're gonna do they're gonna call you on that phone and be like yeah you know uh we really need you to take this load you're the only one the absolute 
only one in the area that could take this load. You know, and you like bullshit. You know what I mean? But anyway, the point is you got to argue with them and either they break you down and you end up having to take the load or you finally get them to back off. But yeah, you had to go through an hour of going back and forth with the motherfuckers to let, you know, for them to realize that you is not about to hit that load. You know what I mean? I feel kind of fabulous today. <laughs> Got on a black lipstick with the pink wig, and them two don't normally go together, but I feel like I'm rocking it right now. Like, mm. Mm. yeah, with the little belt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> little belt, belt. <laughs> anyway, but um, so yeah, it's like one of the money is good, the money is really good, but one of the other things that the biggest thing that I, I care about is well, I guess the two biggest things is respect. I need you to respect me. Okay, that's number one. And number two, I need to feel like I'm not being forced into doing anything. You know what I mean? So, the fact that I have the freedom to pick the laws that I want. And, no, I'm not on a low board or anything like that. But I could choose the law. Like, this is how I get dispatched. Brr, brr. You will say, what you got available? I'm about to deliver this load in about two hours or whatever. What do you have available that could get me to, you know, wherever? Okay, this is what I got. I got this, that, this, that, and this. Which one do you want? Or what do this one pay? If this one pay is this much. How, well, how much does that one pay? Well, that one pay is this much. Okay, I'll take this one. And that's how I get dispatched. You know what I mean? I don't have a low board and all that fancy stuff, but I have a really cool ass dispatcher who works with me. They don't just put loads on me and stuff like that. Like, here, take this. Like, no, motherfucker, no. It don't work like that. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, so I'm happy. I'm so happy that I made the decision to do this. Now, does the do I worry sometimes that certain things may happen to the truck and I got to pay for it? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, I think the fact that some days the money that I make is either equal or less than what I made as a company driver. Not all the time. Just matter, You better believe it's not all the time. It's every now and again. You know... I make either the same thing or less than what I made as a company driver. But I think at the end of the day, the, the ease of knowing that nobody's forcing me to do anything. I make my own schedule. When I want to go home, I go home. Nobody calls me up like, hey, well, you've been off for a week. When are you going to come back? No, nobody does that. You know what I mean? Like, I do my own thing. And the only time I talk to my flea manager is when I want to talk to my flea manager. Like, don't nobody be blowing up my phone. <laughs> Anyway, I was stressed the fuck out as, excuse my language, fuck that. I was stressed the fuck out as a company driver because, especially when I was pulling reefers because of the crazy pickup and delivery times and stuff like that, you got to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning after you had just woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning because you thought you had a load and then they take that load from you. They say, oh, we're going to, you know, it's hang tight we'll get with you in a minute and then you get a load at seven o'clock at night and it picks up at three o'clock in the morning after you was up at seven o'clock in the morning bullshit like that you know what i mean i i can't i can't deal with stuff like that it's like every night i was having to uh take sleeping pills to go to sleep and every morning i was having to take five hour energy to wake up because i was sleeping in the daytime and driving at night and all of that craziness you know what I mean? That may be for some people, but it's not for me. You know what I mean? And I just, I, I, I can't do it. So, to summarize everything I just said, I feel like becoming an independent contractor was the best thing. Because I thought becoming a truck driver, period, was the best decision that I've ever made. But I take that back. Becoming an independent contractor is the best decision that I've ever made. I mean, this takes shit to a whole new level. Like, it, this is a small business that I'm running. And it could, like, open the doors for all kinds of shit. It has put me in the mindset of business. You know what I mean? And I've never been, like, a business person and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> never went to college to learn business or anything like that. And it's like, it got me in the mindset of, like, okay, you know what? If I could run this small business, which is this truck, then maybe I could do something bigger than this, you know? And it, it's gotten me 
understanding things that I never understood before, just certain taxes and, you know, like behind the scenes bullshit that we didn't even know it was happening because, you know, we out here driving. We didn't know all the stuff that's happening behind the back door, you know, going on to keep everything afloat and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's like I know a lot of that stuff now and I, I never thought I would. So, um, yeah, there's just... That's how I feel about it. Best decision. I love the money. I love the freedom. The freedom is the biggest thing. I love it. So, um, I know I could have got into a lot more details, but I kept getting sidetracked by my lipstick and my hair and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I be fooling myself. I'm just saying, sometimes it happens, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah. I'm trying to think. I've been telling y'all for the longest that I'm going to make a video about where I, the whole process that I went through to get this whole truck on the whole truck like it's in pieces and shit. anyway to get the truck that I'm in right now like I've been saying that I'm gonna make a video for you guys but I kept forgetting to make it and I know that I could make it right now but like I gotta go I gotta start driving <laughs> well hold on. let me refrain I don't have to <laughs> because oh that's another thing let me just go ahead and say this I know I'm all over the place y'all I'm sorry whatever you could click off the video if you don't like it I'm sorry but Yo, I do not, um, I don't choose loads that I know I gotta rush, rush, rush to get them. You know what I mean? The only way that I will push myself is if I'm just like, you know what? I want to make an additional thousand dollars before the end of the peer period because my man's birthday is coming up <laughs> and I want to get him a present. Like I want to really do it big and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, so besides that, I don't choose loads that like you know it's fucking you know 700 miles away and it i just picked it up today and it delivers today and shit like that i gotta drive fucking 75 80 miles an hour the whole way to get like fuck that <laughs> you know i don't do shit like that i don't choose lows where i have to push myself like baby they look if they get 400 miles out of me a day and i know some of y'all are like oh, pink you only drive 400 miles a day you're damn right i only drive 400 miles a day because that's the benefits of not getting paid by the mile <laughs> so uh, you heard i said not getting paid by the mile when you get paid a percentage which they got a million videos on youtube about percentage pay versus mileage pay so i'm not about to sit up here and get in depth about the whole thing but all i'm what's up bro okay wave at me or something more fun anyway so um what was I saying? yeah you know they got a million videos so i'm not about to talk about it all i'm gonna say is that like yeah like i'm not about to sit up here and drive i'm not about to work my body and and work just being up this shit is stressful i has fell into depression messing around with truck driving okay like <laughs> sitting up here driving all day or all night and stuff like that i'm not about to do that to myself anymore i know some of these super truckers they be extra proud extra super duper proud of their stuff like oh i drove you know like if they got e-logs and stuff like that they were like oh i drove 690 miles today and it was all legal yay me and i'm like a bitch you proud of that like you crazy as fuck okay first of all when people sit up there and complain about e-logs talking about they're not gonna make any money on e-logs and stuff like that i'm just like bitch why would you want to drive past 11 hours or, or you know if you're doing a 15 minute preacher, preacher then why would you want to drive past 10 hours and 45 minutes why would you even want to do that who wants to do that that is not something to be in my opinion it's not something to be proud of like for you to sit up there and just be bragging about it and stuff later like oh i'm a super trucker i drove 700 miles today bitch you look stupid you look fucking stupid okay because like you sitting up there working your ass off and i'm sitting over here driving 400 or less miles a day and still getting paid equal or more money than you you know what i mean and less wear and tear on my truck and less wear and tear on my mind body and soul okay so you could be all proud if you want baby I think you look crazy. But that's just me. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm somebody. I am somebody. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to see, you guys. I'm about to go. <sighs> Gotta get to get on. So you guys be safe. Have a blessed, wonderful, 
happy then. I kind of got stuck, you know, like I felt like I had a little Tourette's, it, like my arm, my arm got stuck right there for a second. I was like, have a <laughs> Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>